Hi everyone, welcome back to my property. I'm rehashing some of the video I showed you in the first, uh, the first series, uh, just to give you a reminder of uh, the road work that I had done back in uh, early June. And um, what I'm about to show you is a photo uh, indicating how much work is to be done. As you can see in the photo, there's no gate, there are no posts up at the entryway near the road. So my preoccupation at this time in mid-July was to construct a couple of posts for a future gate at the property. Hi everyone, I'm out at the uh, property today and uh, my 10 acres and I'm here today to, uh, if you can see that, I'm here today to build uh, the foundations for my gate on each side. You can see I've got quite a load of materials in the back, 16 bags of cement, mixer, generator and some other material here to uh, work on this car coming by a little bit of noise it's a hot one here today it's going to be Ooh, i'm working in uh, celsius here it's going to be i think 39 they said with the humidex so no doubt pushing upwards of uh i don't know what that conversion is off the top of my head but i'm going to guess in the 90 95 range so it's hot so i'm going to put some big make some big cement blocks on either side I've got one form, so I'm going to move it around, do one today, do one tomorrow, or on Wednesday, and then uh, put some posts in and uh, move it forward with a gate, hopefully uh, within the next week or two. Okay, everybody, I've got my uh, setup here. I'm pretty much ready to go. I'll show you what I have here on this extremely hot day. See, there's the uh, cement mixer I bought recently. Um, yeah, there's my water in the white pail but also in that blue jug in the back there as you can see i have a very small inline pump which jets out the water just beautifully for this exercise and for cleanup and in a minute i'm going to get some cement bag drop a few, few bags in there and then start uh, mixing it up and put it in the put it in the form that i created for the gateway post and for the gateway post i've got a four by four cedar yes i'm putting it in cement um, it's an inexpensive option. I've got some uh, wire mesh cut up ready to go. Roughly uh, 18 inches by 26 inches to go in the hole. And I reinforce the four foot cedar with uh, T-bar. So, I'm going to uh, get this thing started and uh, see how a city slicker, slicker like me gets on with uh, getting this uh, together. Okay everyone, um, well it is a hot day out here. My um, phone, I left it out lying in the sun, unfortunately I've learned a lesson, it overheated. So I couldn't take uh, photos or little videos as I went along. Anyways, here's what uh, I ended up with. There's my first one. It's about two feet wide. Two feet wide and about 32 inches long, 16 inches deep. It's got rebar into the ground. It's got uh, mesh, wire mesh embedded in it. It's a little wet up top. I might drill a hole so that can drain off. But uh, there you go. There's the little uh, post, nice and straight. And uh, what I'll do is I'll get to the one tomorrow on the other side. Cleaned off the uh, cement mixer. Sorry for the view, guys. Cleaned off the cement mixer. 12 bags to go into the form and there's the other one there to be done tomorrow hi everyone it's the next day here at the property my 10 acres uh, this is the form I made and the post I set in concrete yesterday I'm literally in the process of uh, unscrewing it and taking off the form and uh, I'll lift that up in just a second I've put down the camera to lift it up but uh, all in all, I think that turned out very well. So it's going to uh, hold the materials for uh, today's exercise, 12 bags of concrete. We're going to set the form up right there and uh, put another fence post over here. So it should be pretty good. Again, it's another very hot day out here today. Uh, lot, not a lot of rain. You can see that... Uh, Things are getting a little brown, and um, there you go. There's the plan for uh, the next three hours.
Here's a photo of the work at the end of the second day. Uh, obviously it's for the base and the post uh, on the other side of the entryway. And um, I want to apologize to everyone because I failed to get any footage of me actually doing the work, mixing the concrete, pouring the concrete, and uh, plumbing the post. Apologies for that. Um, it's early on in my video career and uh, I'm learning and I expect to be uh, improving the quality of the videos as uh, the months progress. Here's a shot of the first post and concrete. Uh, you can see that even uh, 24 hours later it's uh, firmed up nicely. It's perfectly straight and uh, it turned out uh, better than I had expected given again that I don't have any uh, any kind of certification in any of these trades whatsoever. Here is a second riveting photo of post number one sitting tall and straight in its concrete block. I'm putting these videos up in uh, late November and as of right now I still have not hung the gates. I built the gates probably in August and just haven't been able to get around to doing that. And um, I'd like to think I'll be able to do that in the next week or two. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, finally, if you're enjoying what you see, please hit the like and subscribe. And I look forward to any questions or comments that you have uh, concerning the few videos that I've already posted. Thank you.